McCullough Reserva, a great stick. We're going to talk about that th this morning on the Cigar Labs Sari Spotlight. We're going to talk about this uh, McCullough cigar from the Gomez Sanchez family, started way back in 1934. And it's part of a an unique program called the McCullough Cigars Tasting Passport. This is the third cigar in the uh, passport. What you do is you uh, put the the uh, right on the top there, and then you uh, take a look at the cigar. You t tell when you've smoked it and make some notes. And you finish the uh, passport, which is I believe about fifteen or sixteen cigars. You send it in for a chance to win a lot of prizes, and uh, basically it's a way for cigar smokers, especially the Cal cigar smokers, to get together and talk about some great cigars. Glad I got to be part of it. Uh, you don't have to be part of the ambassador program, which is another unique thing with the McCullough Cigars, to participate in the passport program. But take a look at both of them. And I'd like to talk about that before we uh, actually jump into the cigar. And here it is. I'd first like to start talking about the construction and the appearance. Look at the appearance of the cigar. A beautiful Habano wrapper which is uh, not easy to find and great tasting. But uh, look at, look at, take a look at that. Then look, look at the, uh, the bands. You have a top band, a regular band, pretty ornate. Definitely catches your attention and draws you in expecting a, a, to smoke a pretty exquisite stick. And then the next thing we need to take a look at is the, uh, the draw and the burn. We can't take a look at the draw until we've given it given it a cut. I prefer a V cut, so we're going to give it a V cut before I do a pre light draw. I like to give it a preview of what we're going to be uh, tasting and smelling. And according to the notes, you're going to see some uh, nuts and dried fruit. And you do do that. A pleasant uh, blend of uh, some dried fruit. There's some dried cherries and some things that are uh, not getting a whole lot of nuttiness. And let's check this draw. Okay. That's where I pick up even more fruit, fruitiness in the uh, pre light draw. The draw tells you basically what type of smoke you're going to have as far as if you have to work too hard at it, if it's spongy or hard or has some knots in it, you're not going to get the same uh, taste that you're supposed to get from the tobacco. Plus, it just chain, ruins your uh, smoking experience. A nice, easy, consistent draw. You don't have to work too hard. Just a nice little breathe in. You can feel the air coming without obstruction. Not too tight, not too loose. So already we've got some great looking, uh, great uh, appearance. The obstruction, the burn on the draw. So we need to take a look at the burn. And to do that, first thing you need to do is toast it up. Being careful not to uh, char the uh, the wrapper of the cigar. You can see it's a little windy out here this morning. Okay, it's toasted. Now I'm going to get a One of my favorite things of smoking cigars is that first draw. There, the uh, nuttiness comes in to, to go come into play with the fruit. It's almost like one of those little uh, granola bowls. You have fruits and nuts in. Of course, you got the sweetness of the tobacco mixed in. So far, we're spot on. This is a great cigar. So we've talked to you about the construction and appearance. We've talked to you about the burn and the draw. Now it's time to talk more about the flavor and the body. And in the passport, they tell you to expect some nuts and dried fruit and also some earthiness. Well, they were spot on. They made the cigar. They know what they're uh, trying to create. And... Really experienced cigar smokers might be able to pick out some other nuances and it's 
based on your palate, number one. It's also based on your uh, um, culinary uh, experiences, what, what type of food and things you've tasted and smelled you're going to pick up when you smoke a cigar. So don't be intimidated when you read other reviews or listen to other reviews that uh, you're not quite picking up the same things or not pick up even as many things. That's to, that's to be expected. The main thing is you enjoy the cigar, and as you become experienced in the cigar world, you start to pick up a little bit more nuances in the uh, in the cigar and enjoy it that way, similar to a, a wine or a bourbon or those, those type of things. This is a medium-bodied cigar. Very, uh, it's not too mellow. It's not too strong. It's a perfect cigar. I'm smoking it here in the morning with some coffee. But this cigar would complement just about any time of day and a variety of drinks. It's, it's a very, very, very uh, middle of the road. But uh, as far as flavors, um, it's not a simplistic flavor. Like you said you've got the nuttiness, you've got the dried fruits, and you've got some earthiness coming in there. And again, I, I like to taste that uh, natural sweetness of the tobacco. And it's blended very well together. And looking at this, it's a San Andreas Habana wrapper. We talked about that binder is Nicaraguan. And then you put in some filler of Nicaraguan, the Dominican, and Peru, uh, tobacco from Peru, in the filler. So it's going to have some complexity to it, and it does do that. So this cigar, uh, well worth the price tag of about a $12 cigar. Now we're talking about the value and the uh, – Quality and the value, it's a high quality cigar. And uh, don't be uh, afraid to share this with any level of uh, cigar connoisseur. You probably don't want to waste it on a new smoker because they really won't appreciate what they're smoking. And uh, But a great cigar, maybe even moving to that special occasion type cigar range. And so you get a pretty good deal when you smoke this cigar at a $12 price tag. I can tell already I'm in for about 90 minutes of uh, enjoyable cigar smoking here this morning to go along with some coffee. Just a minute before we went on air, it uh, had a little bit of a downpour. It's a, a day we're going to get some uh, sprinkles off and on, but you see some gray skies in the background. We just got added a little, little sprinkle. This is my back porch here in Indiana, Pennsylvania, where the Cigar Lab does most of their um videoing and, and blogging, but we take this show on the road any chance we can, and we see a uh, University of Wyoming logo on here. I was out in Wyoming, and and as I travel, I like to check out uh, different cigar lounges, and you'll see me pop up at cigar lounges throughout the United States reviewing those uh, cigar lounges. It's a, a hobby of mine now since I'm recently retired. So I'm going to sign off here in a little bit. Again, this is the Cigar Lab. We have a blog at thecigarlab.net, of course, the YouTube page you're watching now, and a Pinterest, a little bit of things going on Pinterest, some Twitter, and, of course, Facebook and Instagram. You can check us out on all those places, but subscribe to at least one of them. Let us know what you're smoking and what you think of this uh, McAuliffe Reserve a Cigar. And if you're a part of the Ambassador Program, we'd love to hear from you and connect with more of you with the, uh, the Call of Ambassador program. We're going to sign off here. Make sure you get a good look at the cigar one more time. It's a great one, and have a great day.